Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. Now we from group 4 will be uh, will going to present about application of first order differential equation. Before that, I will introduce our group. There are Ms. Paul Bakhri and me, Ilham Rozikun Nafi, and Ananda Regina. Right. Okay, next. The first application of differential equation is mixture problem. This is one of, uh, this is the example of mixture problem. One tank initially contains 200 liters of a liquid containing 100 grams of salt. Another liquid containing salt with a concentration of 1 gram per liter fills the tank at a rate of 4 liters per minute and mix completely and then the mixtures exit at a rate of 4 liters per minute. Formulate the problem to find the amount of salt in the tank at any time. Okay, next. The solution is like this, given V0 is 200 liter and Q0 is 100 gram. We have Q in is equal concentration of one gram per liter entering at a rate of four liter per minute and Q out is liquid exit the tank at a rate of four liter per minute. Okay, next. Then we have uh, we have the equation like this: dQ over dt equals Q in minus Q out, with Q in equals rho i times v i and Q out equals rho zero times v zero. Let rho be the amount of salts per volume, because the rate of liquid in equals rate of liquid out. Then dV over dt equals four minus four equals zero. The volume of water in the tank is constant. We have Q out equals Q over 200 times V0. It's equal, it's equivalent with dQ over dt equals Q in minus Q out. Equivalent with dQ over dt equals rho i times V i minus rho zero times V zero equivalent with dq over dt equals 1 times 4 minus q over 200 times 4. So we have dq over dt equals 4 minus 1 over 50 times q. And we will obtain dq over dt plus 1 over 50 q times uh, equals 4. And with the integrating factor, mu t equals a power integral of 1 over 50 dt equals exponential of 1, of 1 over 50 t, so that the equation becomes a power 1 over 50 t times dq over dt plus 1 over 50 e power 1 over 50 t times q it's equals with it's equals to 4 e power 1 over 50 t and then we get it's equivalent with a power 1 over 50 t times q equals 200 times e power 1 over 50 times t plus c. And since we have 
Q zero equals a hundred, then C equals minus a hundred. So we have QT equals two hundred minus one hundred times E power E punk power E times uh I'm sorry times E power negative one over fifty T. Okay, next. For the next, uh, will be explained by Ananda. Thank you, Ilham. Uh, I will continue the presentation. This is for the second application of first uh, order uh, ordinary differential uh, equation. This is about Kirchhoff's laws. For the first is current law states that for any node or junction in an electrical circuit, the sum of currents flowing into that node is equal to the sum of currents flowing out of that node or equivalently, the algebraic sum of currents in a new network of conductors meeting at a point is zero. For the second is voltage law, states that the directed sum of the potential differences or voltage around any closed loop is zero. The current measure in ampere, amperes is the rate of change of charge Q in the capacitor measured in column. Or we can say in bahasa, arus I yang diukur dalam ampere adalah al, uh, laju perubahan muatan Q dalam kondensator yang diukur dalam kolom. Uh, we get the equation I equals D over T, based on the concept of voltage uh, or potential, the following formulas are follows. PR equals I power I times R, PL, uh, V index L, I mean, equals L, DL over DT, and VC equals Q over C. This is the problem. Given that an electric circuit has R equals 100 ohm and L equals 2H, when the switch is closed, the current is zero, T equals zero and I equals zero. Determine the current E for T equals zero if E equals uh, 40 volt and E equals 20, E power negative T3, negative 3T, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the solution. For E equals 40 volt, we obtain I R plus L DL over DT equals E, equivalent with 10 I plus 2 PL over TT equals 40. Equivalent with 5I plus TL over TT equals 20. This is a first order differential equation with P equals 5 and Q equals 20. We get the integrating factor E integral 5 TT equals exponential 5T. I exponential 5t equals integral of 20 exponential 5t equivalent with I exponential 5t equals 4 exponential 5t plus c equivalent with I equals 4 plus c exponential 5t given t equals 0 and I equals 0 such that 0 equals 5 plus c 1 Equivalent with C equals negative 4. Hence, I equals 4 minus 4 exponential 5T. Or I equals 4 times 1 minus exponential 5T. For E equals 20 exponential negative 3T, we obtain I 
R plus L dL over dt equals E. Equivalent with 10 I plus 2 dL over dt equals uh, 20 exponential negative 3t. Equivalent with 5 I plus dL over dt equals 10 exponential negative 3t. This is a first order differential equation with P equals 5 and Q equals 20. We get the integrating factor exponential of, in, exponential of integral 5 dt equals e power 5t. e power 5t. Okay. Uh, i times exponential of 5t equals the integral of 10 exponential negative 3t exponential 5t dt equivalent with i Exponential 5t equals 5 exponential 2t plus c. Equivalent with i equals 5 exponential 2t plus c exponential negative 5t. Given t and i equals 0, such that 0 equals 5 plus c. We get c equals negative 5. Hence, i for t uh, greater than 0 is i equals 5 times exponential negative 3 minus exponential negative 5. For the next, we will be explained uh, by Ms. Bagul Bahri. Okay, thank you. I will continue the next explanations. For the third application of first order ordinary differential equations, there is parachute problem. The idea of this application is based on a model for the motions of a skydiver when the coefficient of a resistance changes between free fall and the final steady state descent with the parachute fully deployed. The basic model of the parachute problem can be expressed as an initial value problem for the position x or the vertical velocity v of a skydiver under the force of gravity and air resistance. The force due to air resistance in this basic model is considered proportional to the velocity. The the mathematical model for motion is provided by Newton's second law, F equals M times A. With a skydiver of mass M and an acceleration, acceleration A, F is the sum of a gravitational force Fg and a drag force Fd due to a resistance. Therefore, Fg plus Fd equals to M times A where A equals dV over dt and Fg equals negative m times g. Assuming that force due to frictions Fd is proportional to the velocity, we have Fd equals negative k times p. During free fall, the velocity satisfies the initial value problems. We get the equations m times dv over dt equals to negative m times g minus k times v. v0 equals to 0. This equation can be solved either as a first order linear ordinary differential equation or as a separable ordinary differential equation. We will present a solution using an integrating factor. Ringing in the form dv over dt equals a t times v plus f t. We obtain v primes equals negative k over m times v minus g. Finding the integrating factor, which is mu equals exponential of negative integral of a t dt this equivalence 
mu equals exponential of negative integral of k over m dt. This equivalence mu equals exponential of k times t over m. Multiplying by the integrating factor and then integrating both sides, we find exponential of k times t over m times v prime plus k over m times exponential of k times t over m times v equals negative g times exponential k of k times t over m. This equivalence, the integral of k times t. Okay, this equivalence, the integral of exponential k times t over m times v prime times dt equals the integral of negative g times exponential k times t over m dt equal equivalence exponential of k times t over m times v equals negative m times g over k exponential k times t over m plus c. Solving for c with the initial condition v0 equal to 0, we find exponential k0 over m0 equivalence negative m times g over k over k times exponential of k0 over m plus c. So we get c equals m times g over k. Return c to the equations and simplifying both sets, we obtain exponential of k times t over m times v equals negative m times g over k exponential of k times t over m plus m times g over k. This equivalence to vt equals negative m times g over k plus m times g over k exponential of negative k times t over m. This equivalence v type this equivalence vt equals m times g over k times exponential of negative k times t over m minus 1. For 0 less than or equals t less than or equals t0. Okay, that's all of our presentation. Thanks for your attention. Sorry if there's any some mistakes. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.